Donnie and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business, we can help. All of our guests today, including Dick Zokel and Predator Ridge Talking Ma Masters, sponsored by Passant Motors. Passant offers an amazing selection of used cars, trucks, SUVs, and minivans. Stop by their showroom, 16315 Fraser Highway in Surrey, or visit them online at PassantMotors.com. B-A-S-A-N-T Motors.com. Just before we get to Dick Zokel, Delaney's okay, Tyron Langley inbox. Chef Swagger. <laughs> what are Rick and Ryan smoking? I can't go anywhere uh, without someone talking Canucks or playoffs when they see my flying skate hat. Ooh. People are excited. I have to say, I see a lot of those uh, hats. Oh, yeah. One of my kids has one. Okay. Um, Scotty Scheffler uh, wins the Masters, oh, yeah. second Masters win in the last uh, three years and wins it convincingly by four strokes. Here to talk about that, former PGA golfer from Predator Ridge, Dick Zokel. How are you, sir? I am well, gentlemen. Good to be with you. Is there a buzz up there in Vernon regarding the Canucks? Yes. Oh. Uh, absolutely. There always are, is, when uh, the Canucks get into the playoffs. So we're looking forward to that. I think we can, uh, we wish them the best and hope they get to, get to advance in a very rapid state. It's official. There's a buzz. In Dick Vernon. So. In yeah. Vernon. <laughs> Uh, what separates, or what separated Scotty? Uh, let's just take this weekend. What separated uh, Scotty from everybody else at, at the 2024 Masters? Well, he says it as you mentioned, Donnie. He's won his second Masters in the last three years. Um, in the, his last four events, you know, he's won three times. In the other event, he missed a five-foot putt. So he is moving in a Tiger-like progression. And he was asked that, that question right after his, in, in, mm. in the press conference. He says, the question was, what allows you to play so well? And his direct quote and answer was, I try not to think about the past or the future too much. I love trying to live in the present moment. So he brings a superior mindset. And of course, he has the game. He has the ability to move the ball right, and, right or left. Uh, as a ball striker, and he's extremely con con consistent. But what really separated him, the pressure got to mm -hmm. the three other mm -hmm. guys around him. They were making double bogeys, if you watched, uh, around yeah. Amen Corner. And uh, and Scotty just went to uh, press the uh, pedal to the metal and uh, shut the door on him. And it's quite something to see. He's, he's a remarkable player. Dick, how rare is that, maybe even at the PGA level, where you can shelve the past and not worry about the problems you had on the hole before or two holes before? It's really difficult, and, 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 and it's really simple, but that doesn't mean it's easy. Every golfer, it doesn't matter. Like This is what Rory McIlroy is steeped in right now, and he's been in this mental – You know, he's in, in what I call golf insanity. So he's doing the same thing over and over and over again, and 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 he's not he's expecting a different result basically, and he's been uh, frustrating himself because he's not changing. You look at the way Scotty Scheffler is; he's completely detached from the result. He's this, he's got such a grounded nature about himself uh, that he doesn't get ahead of himself. He he doesn't he isn't motivated by the money. He's made enormous amounts of money, but it hasn't changed him at all. And too often it does. The ego gets involved for the player. I know from experience mm -hmm. that when your ego is leading the way, and it's trying to do the best thing for you, but it's the wrong, uh, it's the wrong personality to be driving your bus. Dick, everybody wants Tiger to be involved. Everybody wants to see him on Sundays, uh, but he was plus 16. The injuries don't allow him to get the practice time that he used to uh, many, many years ago. What are you seeing with Tiger? He's 48 years old now, Dick. It's not like he's, you know, 28 or 38. He's getting up there. Well, he's 48 going on 68. He's got the body <laughs> of a 68-year-old. Yes, that's it. And, 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 and you know, show, so there will be those people that say, hey, look, it's time to retire. Mm -hmm. But we're seeing a different personality about him. He's, you know, from... Uh, the way he was 20 years ago, uh, he's a lot more humble. I mean, mm -hmm. he said 20 yeah. years ago, if he finishes second, that's like finishing last. Now he's just saying things like, I love competing. I love being out there. So when he shoots 82, he's, <laughs> he's, uh, he's, not, uh, he's a changed person. He says, I, 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 the fact that he has the courage to go through what he must go through 
given his situation, um, I love it. I, uh, you know, good for him. I, we hope he continues with this yeah. courage, and we hope that he's able to get some traction because all the things have to align properly. Per, predominantly, a temperature situation for him because you know his his leg is so in in such such bad shape that it affects his back. And if um, mm. if he doesn't have the proper temperature, humidity type of thing, it's going to be a difficult task for him. Dick, what did you think about the Canadian contingent? Obviously, Nick Taylor did make the cut. Um, had one at a 270 ye- uh, yesterday, but he also had a 10 over on uh, Saturday as well. Uh, top Canadian was Corey Connors at uh, plus seven. Yeah, yeah, they didn't they didn't play the way they want wanted to, or we have expected them to. They've got to make that traction. It was a perfect tournament for Corey Connors. Corey's you know one of the greatest ball strikers out there, and and he's is struggling with his putting. So he's going to have to kind of see the, uh, the 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 leak in the hose and attend to it without you know losing his his uh, his skill to, as a ball striker. He needs to kind of move to that next stage. And uh, so does so does all, do, so do all the Canadians. They've been in that this position. They've earned it, and uh, now, but they've got to step up and get to that next level. And I'm thinking that Nick Taylor is going to be the guy who's going to win, be the right. next Canadian to win a major. Okay, off the subject here. I'm looking at your bio, uh, Wikipedia page. Uh, I know it's this is a long time ago, but Dick Zokel, Brigham Young University mm-hmm. in the state of Utah. Mm-hmm. And, and, a- any read on whether or not the NHL is going to work in that state? Because the Coyotes are headed there. That's what uh, that's what I understand. So I, I have been watching a couple of uh, uh, BYU alumni talk about um, cha- the name change and mm-hmm. summer thing, elk and all that kind of stuff. For uh, but uh, who knows? Who knows what it's going to be? What's what? Are, what are your thoughts? That's what I want to hear. Well, no, I you know I I, I didn't spend time in in, in Utah. Or I, I'd love love to go there. It looks it looks beautiful, and maybe I will because of what's happening with with the national National Hockey League. But did people talk hockey at all back back when you were there? No, no. I mean, in particularly, I was uh, down south of in, in Salt Lake City. Either in the Mormon Mormon. Uh, state that it is either you're you are a mormon or you're opposite of a mormon there's a big gap between it but where i was in provo utah for four years not being a mormon embedded in a, a real hard mormon culture well so was jim mcmahon he was the same yeah. year and danny yeah. Ainge. yeah and, yeah. and Ainge is mormon mm-hmm. mcmahon was a jack mormon as, as they call him but uh, <laughs> i think the fact that uh i think the fact that 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 the nhl will be coming to utah uh, they're going to gather around uh, very nicely in, in, in big time sport in Utah. Is, um, it's a great sporting state, so mm-hmm. very proud to have uh, been involved with BYU. Well, I think it's going to work, Dick, to answer your question because there is hockey history in, in Salt Lake City going back to the yeah. uh, old days of the old Western uh, Hockey League. And, you, you know, there's no Major League Baseball there. There's there's no NFL there. So I think that, that helps. Before yeah. we let you go, Predator Ridge, what's new? Predator Ridge, what's, what's we happening? this past Yep. Uh, uh, last week on Wednesday, mm. we uh, weathered the winter very nicely. It was a perfect weather uh, uh, winter uh, for golf courses. So they're they're coming into spring right now in a, in perfect shape. We want you guys to come on up, and uh, we uh, we look forward to a lot of uh, some some new announcements that will be coming out very shortly. There's a real easy way to get us up there, uh, Dick. We'll we'll talk about that. <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> appreciate it anytime, and, and I'll see you in a month when you go into the BC Sports Hall of Fame. Oh yeah. As you will, I look forward to watching and hearing what, uh, hearing your speech. Yeah, I'll see you then. Thanks so much, Dick. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank uh, you, guys.